<laughs> and I learned, I learned, ah, and depending on him, as I found out, I trust you, I found out. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I want to welcome you. And I appreciate you being out there, okay? I know a lot of y'all get a little disgruntled with some of my content, uh, but that's okay. I mean well. And all I want to do is point out the narcissism is what the country is ruled by. And so as we address that narcissism that we all have been privy to, whether it's in our parents' home, whether it's the government, it's all over the dang gone place. And until we get to address it um, on a consistent base, then we'll stay sick. And that's why I want to appreciate people like Taraji P. Henson, um, Charlemagne the God, uh, The Shook Ones was a very good book. And I just want you to know that um, I second a lot of those emotions uh, coming from these neighborhoods. We come from things that we've normalized. Um, has really been um, a matter of dysfunction and has been a matter of uh, mental health issue. And so as it with the um, smaller society, so as it with the larger society as in general. So when I think about what happened today, and I want to first congratulate the people of Richmond, Virginia, who watched Robert Lee, uh, his statue being taken down. And a lot of y'all say, and, and, oh, it's just symbolism. This, that's okay, because symbolism runs the world. Okay, check out what your masonry and all. Symbolism is very important. Okay? So uh, take it or leave it alone. I just want to acknowledge the positive, and that is that the statue of Robert E. Lee, who was a traitor to this government, um, was taken down. And... When I like to look at stuff, I like to get into the psychic of whatever it is. So for you guys to say it's nothing but symbolism, um, that's for some of us. Some of us in, uh, think, that's my heritage, and why should he come down? And, and, and it's, he's an integral part of, of, of our my history. And I'm saying, with all due respect to y'all, if whatever you believe and whatever you find and comfortable with, if you wouldn't mind it happening to you, then it's all good. Because I just can't believe a lot of y'all who make such a big stink out of people wanting to take people like, uh, what's his name, Stonewall, Jackson, and all these uh, people down these statues. Just imagine. And we're on the defensive end. We're not even on the offensive end. Because y'all, the larger dominant society, have been oppressive. So, how would you handle it if every time you walked and saw an institution or a monument, it was either Dr. King or Malcolm X or Mary Baraka or Harriet Tubman or Sojourner Truth? or Frederick Douglass, or Elijah Muhammad, or Louis Farrakhan, and this is all the symbolism that you see throughout America. What the hell would y'all do? And please don't start saying, no, 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 it's not their country, it's not their country, because like I said before, it's not yours either. You took it, you stole it. Okay? Which is equivalent to me coming to your house you invited me to dinner, and then I pull out a gun and hold all of y'all hostage and then just take your home. That is unacceptable behavior, and you know it. You know it's unacceptable behavior, so that's how you inherited America. So you need to want to share the ground that you are uh, walking on, because if it wasn't for the natives 
of his land, you will be homeless. Okay, so we either have to learn how to inhabit this social uh, landscape together. That means you have to live in, and, and for black people, y'all going to have to put your homophobia away. You're going to have to stop saying everything is an agenda. Everything is a government of, you know, conspiracy. Just like when, you know, just like when I look at Tupac. Let me let y'all, you know, I'm just using this as an example. We can come up with the most craziest conspiracy theories. Just as crazy as white folks. So, unless we are willing to let go of some of these stereotypes and these crazy stinking thinking that we have because we pay a part in the madness too i know what was done to us before but we're playing a part in the madness today some of us didn't survive um the mind construct that they try to put up on some of us have literally turned into drones um, and some of us are rabid dogs that need to be put down. And that's in every race, right? Okay. But with that being said, the normal, so-called normal ones among us have to be willing to live and let live. And until we can do that, we won't be able to experience America the way it was intended. Even though those hypocrites had slaves, like Thomas Jefferson, every time I say his name, I want to throw up. But the words are beautiful. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. We just got to make those words come alive, y'all. We just got to make those words have some meaning. We have to bring America to life. We've already breathed our breath into it because no matter what they say about us as the natives of this land, some of us imported in brown and black and native culture is American culture. You can't get around it. We are the culture, right? So with that being said, that means that we have to be in a mindset moving in this 21st century that we got to share this. We can't be like Solomon. We can't split the baby in half. We can't want to do that like King Solomon. Let me just be clear with that. King Solomon had the decision to make. Remember about the baby? Both women were claiming the babies, and the king decided, well, let me just separate them. I'll slip, uh, just split the baby down the middle. And the one that the baby really belonged to said, no, 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 don't do that. She can have it. Because she knew that a splitting the baby down the middle was just, it's insanity. So don't let this country be split down the middle. Don't let this country that we didn't already built for folk. Up, we 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 didn't put a lot of things to life in such a short period of time. All of us, from the black man to the white man to the uh, red man, who said we brought this country thus far? And we're the youngest. We're the new kids on the block. So please, listen to you. You got to have those conversations at the dinner table, y'all. This is the only way you can prevent that civil war that's on the horizon. Can't you smell the, the scent of extinction in your nostrils? Woo, I can. So what I'm saying is, Dr. King, one of the greatest orators that ever walked this planet, that was a black man, y'all. And y'all white people can relate to him. The red man can relate to him. Everybody, everybody can relate to him because he's the king of love. 
right? Except for this government. But as individuals, we are the people. We are the government, right? So we have to make up our mind what kind of America we want to see. Do we want to hold these truths self-evident that we are all created equal? Or do we think we're going to continue to go on with the same old stuff, oppressing black and brown bodies, killing black and brown bodies, oppressing black and brown bodies, and think America is going to survive? Because it can't. That's my rant for the day, family. That's my rant for today. Again, congratulations to the people in Richmond, Virginia that had Robert Lee um, in all his uh, uh, glory <laughs> taken off the statue. You know, but as I think about some of this stuff, I thought about, I'm going to say this and I'm going to close. I thought about the school I went to. And, and a grade school I went to was called Franklin Pierce, right? And so we got statues of this guy. All these guys that these people have put up these statues of were totally against us and, and who we were as individuals. And a lot of white people were fine with that. To have us walking around passing those ugly ass statues every day, trying to keep our spirits broken, trying to keep us uh, feeling inferior but it's a new day, and it's got to be a new day starting in your heart first. People like Franklin Pierce and all these monuments, again, that they got all over the country. When they come down, remember, it is somebody and somewhere some, trying to make a gesture, whether it's political or whether it's not. Take, take it for what it's worth. Eat the meat, throw away the bone. And... Take it as it's one step closer to trying to make this place a more perfect union. Because that's all we can go for now. This has to be a more perfect union. Because mostly all these white men that they got statues of all over the place were murderers and, and killers and, 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 and betrayers and, and not lovers of America. They were lovers of oppression. Look at your look at the history of them. Okay, you guys? Don't take my word for it. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. The sun shines on all of us. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.